Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Limitless Lauren. Today we are going to be talking about how to find inexpensive baby items. Most of the places I'm going to be talking about have used or secondhand items so if you are not okay with that this video probably won't be for you. So let's get started. The first place I want to talk about are thrift stores. This is my holy grail for places to find baby items and the first thrift stores I'm going to be talking about are the big chain thrift stores like Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army. These are going to be great if they are in your area, if you live in a big city or have ones even in your small town. I unfortunately did not, so I would have to travel about an hour to go to the big chain thrift stores. They will have a lot more options in the smaller local thrift stores for items, but you'll definitely have to keep checking back free frequently um, if you're looking for something specific. The second thrift store I'm going to be talking about are local thrift stores. I lived in a very small town and local thrift stores were the places that I went the most. How to find your local thrift stores is you are going to go on Google and just search up thrift stores in your area. I found quite a few actually in my small town and you just will have to try out each one and find your favorites. I found that the local thrift stores, they give money to churches, hospitals, and schools depending on which thrift store you purchased at, which was really cool. The best thing that I found at a thrift store was my breast pump. Now you probably are thinking, ew, why would you use a used breast pump and you don't know how many people have used that and blah blah blah, but it actually was the best item that I have ever found anywhere for the best deal. I got a Lansano double electric breast pump for $15 at a thrift store and it retails for over $100. And when I saw it, it came in a bag with all the accessories plus some. Um, all the stuff was included, there wasn't anything missing or broken. I plugged it in in the store and it worked great. And you're never really sure what the suction, if it's gonna work or not, so you kinda have to take a chance with that. But for $15, I decided to go ahead and just try it out. Um, I went home and sterilized all the parts, cleaned everything that I could, and it was in really good condition when I found it, so I wasn't, wasn't really too worried. And it ended up being the best thing that I found. Um, I used it for probably the first six or seven months of my son's life. And I'll probably get more uses out of, out of it if I have future children. So you definitely have to keep going back to thrift stores and checking probably maybe once or twice a week for new items that people donate. You never know what you can find or what people just wanna get rid of because they don't think it's worth any money anymore. Um, you can really find some awesome stuff. So you just have to keep your eye open and if you're unsure if you're going to like it or not, if it's a good price, just buy it. You can always fix it up or if it doesn't work out, you could just, you know, bite the bullet and donate it or throw it away. Last but not least in the thrift stores is my favorite one. It is called Once Upon a Child. This is still my favorite one to shop at. So Once Upon a Child, they are located in multiple states and in the U.S. and in Canada. This store is dedicated only to children, so if you're looking for something specific, they most likely have it or a version of it. I have found multiple things at Once Upon a Child. I got his my son's boppy there that came with a cover, and I think I got it for about $10. I got his walker there and all kinds of uh, toys ranging, they're not very expensive at all. His walker was about $15 and he uses it every single day, loves it, it's good quality. I just wash them really good when I get home and they're pretty much good as new. At Once Upon a Child they have clothes ranging from newborn preemie all the way up to I believe teenager. Um, I'm not quite sure the, the size they go up to, but they also have multiple sizes and shoes as well. They have strollers, car seats, cribs, toys, books, all kinds of stuff, seriously. It is 
a great place to go to if it is in your area. So the next place I'm going to be talking about is Dollar Tree. Now, they're definitely gonna have cheaper quality items, but depending on the things that you're getting, you can find some really good stuff there. Um, they have a section of the store for baby showers, which is awesome. Uh, they have decorations, games, um, invitations, plates, cups for boy, girl. They also have balloons, which I used for my gender reveal, and it said it's a boy on it. They also have one that says it's a girl. Um, they also have great items for birthday parties. It's all color-coded with all the plates, napkins, utensils. They also have really good storage bins, and I use the storage bins for his nursery for books and toys. Also, when your child gets a little bit older, they also have a whole aisle dedicated to toys. Now, toys can be pretty expensive, even at Walmart, um, for birthdays or holidays that you want to give, and they're pretty dinky little toys, but if your child does something good and you want to reward them with something, take them to the Dollar Tree and let them just pick out an item. It's a dollar. If it breaks, who cares? Throw it away. But you won't be forking over a ton of money for just a little toy that they're not gonna that they're not gonna care about in a couple of hours. They also have little tchotchke items like binkies, bibs. A lot of it is disposable. Um, but if you're going on a trip or just need something really quick. Um, to throw in a diaper bag just for backups, that's a really good place to go to find those kinds of items. The third place I'm going to talk about is Facebook Marketplace, and if you don't use social media, Craigslist. Now, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to go to if you're looking for a specific item, um, or just are on the look for anything, really. I have gotten a few things off of Facebook Marketplace, and I am always searching for new items. They go pretty quickly on there, so if you find something you like, I would message them right away and see if you can meet. Um, you can also make deals on there. It's nice because you can see who is selling the item and where they're located. It's basically an upgraded version of Craigslist. It doesn't feel as sketchy to me to use it, which is what I really like about it. Craigslist is my other option if you do not use social media. Most people have used Craigslist, um, I would think, but if that's kind of my last resort option if I'm looking for something. Um, I haven't had really good experiences on Craigslist. People won't message me back or it just seems more of a scam with some items. So. I don't know. I try to stay away from Craigslist, but it is an option if you don't use Facebook, if you want something like Facebook Marketplace. My fourth and last place to go to is two apps. One is called Poshmark and the other is called Mercari. They're pretty much the same. Um, they just kind of range with different items. Poshmark is the first app that I have used and I've been with them the longest. I haven't looked into too much baby stuff on there, but I know that they have it. Um, you do have to pay for shipping with them. And with Mercari, there is the option for free shipping, which is nice. And I have bought baby stuff off of Mercari. Um, I bought baby sleep sacks. Now, the thing with Poshmark and Mercari is you can't go and see the item before you buy it. You kind of, it's kind of like online shopping, but no returns, um, unless it's like a really terrible purchase and the item's completely wrong, but it's kind of a hassle to try and return it um, and get your money back. The people on there that are selling have reviews and stars, so you can kind of judge off of that if they're somebody who you would want to buy from. You can also message them asking questions about the item before you buy it, which is nice. And you can also make deals on there and haggle them down on price. 
So with all four of these options of places to buy inexpensive baby items, I hope at least one of them is a good option for you to try. I have found so many good things from all of these places and I hope you guys can too. And I hope maybe you haven't heard of one of them and you can try one out. Baby items can be so expensive and they use it for such a short amount of time that you don't want to fork over a ton of money for all this baby stuff unless you're going to be using it for a long time like the crib or a dresser which most of the big item stuff I put on my registry but I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on clothes when they get very dirty and they grow out of it just so quickly so look into some of these places and I think you will find some good stuff like I did. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video. Bye.